they started off pretty well. Um, Kayla, you know, hurdles weren't her best there. I think uh, Ebanks got pretty close to a PR. And then as the, the day has just kind of gone on, they primed themselves up to do really well on day two, where they're a lot stronger. They're, they're great long jumpers. They're very good javelin throwers. And they're really tough 800 meter runners. So they're both sitting 9th, 10th right now. And I know there's about three or four uh, young women ahead of them from other schools that they can they can beat tomorrow. So I think we're sitting in a good position right now. I feel like today I set it up very well for tomorrow. I did good in events that I really didn't think I'd do good in, and I was I came really close to my personal best in most of them. So I feel like going into tomorrow, which have my stronger events, I feel like I'm just gonna hit the floor running and do really good. Probably, will actually place in the conference. And I think the the biggest thing too is um, you know we're gonna go you know have team dinner, team meetings now, and and uh, the other athletes that are going to compete tomorrow, I think we have the hammer throw and uh, the 10K. Those athletes, you know, if, if, if Kayla and Ebanks had a good day like they did, and I think it's just going to help motivate the rest of the team to do well, and, and uh, you know, I look at it as like a snowball effect. If, if we can have good things happen, it's going to keep happening around the track with every event, and then hopefully lead us to doing very well on Sunday. It gives me a lot more motivation because we've been training since September for this, and to actually get to this meet where everything actually matters, it really pumps you up because this is what you've been training for. I love to see young and unestablished athletes find their footing and, um, and get their confidence and actually and create their space within the program. It's nice to see athletes that maybe were walk-ons or some of our younger athletes that haven't quite figured it out yet figure it out at this meet. It's, it's really nice to see it click. And uh, you know, this is like one of the only meets of the year where there's winners and losers. And I think our team really takes that to heart and we don't want to be losers.